So my name is Pierre Amarenko. I'm professor of neurology and vascular neurology uh, at Paris University, uh, France. So um, the treat short to target trial was performed because uh, uh, in the stroke field, we only have this Parker trial uh, results uh, back in 2006 uh, using etorvastatin 80 milligram versus placebo. And we found with this trial a 16% relative risk reduction which was 33% uh, relative risk reduction in patients with carotid atherosclerosis and 28% relative risk reduction in patients uh, who could achieve LDL cholesterol less than 70 mg per deciliter. So now we are left with a recommendation by the AHA that uh, we, could, we should uh, treat our atherotrombotic stroke with intense statin therapy without precising any target level. So uh, because of the analysis we've done in Sparkle, uh, we designed the treat stroke to target trial to uh, a randomized patients with uh, ischemic stroke associated with atherosclerotic disease to either a higher target level, 100 milligram per deciliter, or a lower target level, 70 milligram per deciliter. And we found that uh, on average, LDL cholesterol went down from 136 milligram per deciliter at baseline to 95 milligram per deciliter uh, during the trial in the higher target group and to 65 milligram per deciliter in the lower target group. Then the primary endpoint, which was uh, ischemic stroke, undetermined stroke, myocardial infarction, urgent revascularization of coronary arteries or carotid arteries following symptoms or vascular deaths, this primary endpoint occurred in 10.9% uh, of the patients in the higher target group and 8.5% in the lower target group, yielding a 22% relative risk reduction with a significant uh, uh, reduction of P0.036. Um, so um, uh, what uh, we found also is uh, that uh, uh, these uh, results uh, was mainly found in patients included in France, because in this trial we had France, 61 centers, and Korea, 16 centers. But Korea entered late in the trial, joined the trial late in 2015. So the follow-up in Korean patient was two years, and the follow-up in French patient was 5.3 years. And uh, in French patients, we had a 27% relative risk reduction, which was not observed in Korean patients. But we need to continue the follow-up in Korean patients to see eventually the same results. We also found that a patient randomized with a proven ischemic stroke on MRI or CT scan had a 33% relative risk reduction, diabetic patient had a 40% relative risk reduction, and patients who uh, spent mo most of their time, more than 50% of their time, in the right target, less than 70 milligram per deciliter, at a 36% relative risk reduction uh, in, in uh, 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 the primary endpoint. So had we used more potent lipid-lowering drugs uh, in this trial to get less than 70 milligram, uh, uh, increasing the time spent uh, in the target, uh, to close to 100%, like with uh, PCSK9 inhibitors or equivalent, then we may have seen a greater effect size. So the importance of this trial is that now this is very practical for the uh, practitioners and the general practitioner, the cardiologist, the vascular neurologist, that a uh, patient with an atherosclerotic stroke, sh we should target uh, LDL cholesterol less than 70 milligram regardless of the statin use, regardless of the dosage, regardless of the fact to add or not ezetimibe, the target level less than 70 milligram is reducing, uh, may avoid one uh, recurrence among five. So this is a very important, I think, result uh, in the field of stroke and stroke prevention.